In this lesson, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting rational expressions. What is 4 root 5 plus 6 root 5? What is that equal to? Now, because the radicals are the same, you can add the coefficient in front of it. That is, you can add 4 plus 6, which is 10. So this is equal to 10 root 5. Let's say if you have 4 radical 3 plus 6 radical 5. You cannot add 4 plus 6, because what would you do? Would you say it's 10 root 3 or 10 root 5? It doesn't work, because these two are not the same. You can only add them if they're the same. For example, you can add 4x plus 6x, that's 10x, because they're like terms. But you can't say 4x plus 6y is 10xy. It just doesn't work. See, you only can add or subtract like terms. So knowing that, go ahead and simplify this problem. 7 root 2 minus 3 root 2 plus 5 root 2. So all of these are like terms. They all contain the square root of 2. 7 minus 3 is 4. And 4 plus 5 is 9. So it's 9 root 2. Now what about this one? What's 3 times the square root of 8 minus 5 times the square root of 18. Right now, we cannot combine them because 8 and 18 are not the same. But sometimes, we can simplify the radicals and make it the same. 8 is basically 4 times 2. 18 is 9 times 2. The square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 3 is 15. Now, notice that we have like terms. So now we can combine them. 6 minus 15 is negative 9. So the final answer is negative 9 root 2. Try this one. 4 root 12 plus 3 root 27 minus 2 root 48. Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So 12, we can break that into 4 and 3. 27, a perfect square that goes into 27 is 9, so 9 and 3. And 48 contains a perfect square, which is 16. Notice that we have a common radical, root 3. So we're on the right track. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of 16 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 4 is 8. So 8 and negative 8, they cancel. They add up to 0. So the final answer is just going to be 9 root 3. Let's try one more example, but this time we're going to use uh, cube roots. Go ahead and try that. So think of the perfect cubes. 8, 27, 64, 125. 8 goes into 16. So you want to break down 16 as uh, 8 and 2. 27 goes into 54. So 54 divided by 27 is 2. And 64 goes into 128. 64 times 2 is 128. Notice that every term has a cube root of 2. So these are all like terms. The cube root of 8 can be simplified to 2. And the cube root of 27 is 3. And the cube root of 64 is 4. So 8 times 2 is 16. 5 times 3 is 15. And 3 times 4 is 12. Now, 15 minus 12 is 3. And 16 plus 3 is 19. So the answer is 19 cube root 2. If you were to see a homework problem that looks like this, what would you do? What is the square root of 3 times 
7 plus root 3. Feel free to try that problem. So here you have to distribute. Root 3 times 7 is simply 7 root 3. And root 3 times itself, 3 times 3 is 9, so that's the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So that's the answer. You just got to distribute. Try this one. What is 4 root 5 times root 7 minus the square root of 3? Feel free to pause the video and work on that example. So let's multiply the first two. We can't multiply 4 and 7 because the 7 is inside the radical and the 4 is on the outside. However, we can multiply 5 and 7 because they're both inside the square root function. 5 times 7 is 35. And then let's multiply 4 root 5 by root 3. So 5 times 3 is 15, and that's going to be inside the radical. And so that's the answer. Now sometimes, you might be given a problem where you have to multiply two conjugates together. Whenever you see this, you need to FOIL and know that the middle terms will cancel. So first is going to be 3 times 3, which is 9. And then we're going to multiply 3 times negative root 5. That's negative 3 root 5. And then root 5 times 3. So that's positive 3 root 5. And the square root of 5 times negative root 5. That's negative root 25, which is negative 5. The two middle terms will cancel. They add up to 0. And 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Let's try another example. 4 minus root 6 times 4 plus root 6. So we already know that the middle terms will cancel. So all we need to do is multiply the outer terms. 4 times 4 is 16. And negative root 6 times root 6. That's negative root 36, which is negative 6. And 16 minus 6 is 10. That's going to be the final answer. Now what about this one? What is 2 plus root 3 squared? If you see it, you need to expand it. You have to multiply it by itself two times. Now in this example, these are not conjugates of each other because the sign is the same. Therefore, the middle terms will not cancel. So we need to FOIL completely. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times root 3, that's positive 2 root 3. And then root 3 times 2, that's also 2 root 3. And root 3 times root 3 is just 3. So let's add the middle terms. 2 plus 2 is uh, 4, so that's going to be 4 root 3. And 4 plus 3 is 7, so it's 7 plus 4 root 3. Let's try one more example. 5 plus root 2 squared. So 5 times 5 is 25. We know the two middle terms will be 5 root 2. And the last one, that's simply going to be 2. 5 plus 5 is 10. And 25 plus 2 is 27. And so this is the answer. So here's another example that we can try. Go ahead and expand it and simplify. So 4 square root 3 plus 2 raised to the third power. So we can write this three times. And I'm running out of space, as always. But first, let's FOIL the first two. So 4 times 4, that's 16. And the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, that's the square root of 9, which is 3. And then we have 4 times 2, which is 8. And the square root of 3 will be carried over. And this is also 8 square root 3. And then 2 times 2 is 4. Now we still have another one that we're going to have to multiply later. But let's just write this for now. So 16 times 3 is 48. 48 plus 4 is 52. And 8 plus 8 
that's 16. So we've got 16 square root 3. So now we need to FOIL these two expressions. So now 52 times 4. 50 times 4 is 200, and 2 times 4 is 8. So that's going to be 208 square root 3. And then 52 times 2, that's 104. And here we have 16 times 4, which is going to be 64. And then square root 3 times square root 3, that's 3. And then 16 times 2 is 32, but it's going to be 32 square root 3. Now, 64 times 3 is 192. If we add that to 104, that's 296. And then we could add these two. So 208 plus 32, that's going to be 240. So this is the final answer. 296 plus 240 square root 3.